Royal Watchers are out in force in West Dorset this morning as four major members of the royal family visit Poundbury. Our BBC Radio Solent reporter Neil Sackley is royal watching for us this morning. Neil, what is the atmosphere like at the moment? Sam, as you come to me live, the Royal Train is pulling in to Dorchester South Station. You can probably hear it in the background. It's a very, very special train. Uh, the arrival of the Royal Train, wherever Her Majesty goes, is timed to within a five to ten second window. Not only for to keep her on track, but also to keep the rest of the National Rail Network on track as well. <laughs> but literally, Sam, as we talk, the Royal Train is pulling up in Dorchester South Station. How close are you? If I reach out, I could touch it right now, but it's, it's still moving, uh, so probably Don't. not a great idea. <laughs> uh, dignitaries currently standing on the platform waiting to greet Her Majesty, including uh, the Lord Lieutenant of Dorset, Mr Angus Campbell, and uh, the Mayor and the Chief Constable. Uh, as well. Lots of people waiting in the car park just outside uh, Dorchester South Station and a band as well who've been playing uh, as we uh, were waiting for the Royal Train to arrive. They were playing the floral dance uh, just a couple of moments ago. Uh, once they depart from the Royal Train, the Royal Party will head to Poundbury, just to the west of Dorchester Town Centre. They'll tour Queen Mother Square. They're going to be meeting Duchess of Cornwall staff, architects, builders, contractors as well as well as local residents business owners and staff now the royal carriage has just pulled up uh, alongside the building here at uh, dorchester south station eagerly anticipating the royal party to exit the train this train is only ever used uh, and there is her majesty the queen now uh, leaving the royal train uh, being met by the lord lieutenant of uh, dorset what's she wearing neil i, I think it's pastel blue uh, but that's, but, but it may not be because uh, I'm colour blind. So uh, <laughs> maybe somebody could tell me what colour is the queen wearing? It's sort of a turquoise, maybe. It's turquoise, and she looks resplendent as always. As always, the uh, uh, the monarch, of course, the world's longest-serving monarch, accompanied by uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, who's at 95 years of age. Also leaving the royal train now is Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. The four major members of the royal family here traveling together and actually Sam the only four members of the royal family who are allowed to use the royal train and they're all using it today as they visit the county town first of all in uh, Dorset as they head to Poundbury.